the ugly, ugly duckling movies that it has to be a guy who's the ugly duckling. So famous rom-coms. Are there famous rom-coms? It's normally a woman where you right. go, oh my gosh, look at her without her glasses and her hair down. Good question. There have been a few guy ugly duckling movies. There was a movie back in 87, Can't Buy Me Love, with a young Patrick Dempsey, mm. where he's Ronald Miller, kind of nerdy. He's mowing Mowing grass, yes. mowing yard, uh, lawns there. Mowing grass. Mowing grass. And so he <laughs> hires the hot cheerleader to hang out with him for a few weeks so people think he's cool, it works, and then all goes wrong. Guess what? No spoiler alert, they get together at mm -hmm. the end. Mm -hmm. Then a couple years ago, she's out of my league with a funny guy named oh, Jay Baruchel. Yeah. You've seen him in Knocked Up. He, Seth Rogen, he works with Seth Rogen sometimes. Okay. Very funny guy, Jay Baruchel. He is like a worker at the airport, works like TSA, mm. scrawny guy, mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. and uh, he hooks up with this girl, just an 11, and no one can figure out why she's with him. And the whole movie is, <laughs> why is she with that guy? Which is the original name of it, I think. But imagine you're Jay Baruchel. You're, you but know, wasn't Seth Rogen in a movie with... Uh, what, yeah, Catherine Heigl. Up. Yeah, Catherine Heigl, knocked up. But that's, not, that's more like an odd combination Oh, okay. Weird guy. But Jay, I wonder, like, Jay Baruchel, you're the actor, like, you're trying to be in a movie, you got to be, like, a scrawny, not that great looking guy. But do they say, look, we picked you because you're not good looking and you're scrawny? But he's funny. Yeah. But the girl he's with looks like, uh, you know. If we had a rom-com draft right now, because I'm not a rom-comer. Anybody uh, have a number one seed number for Number one rom-com? A rom-com. I feel like... Uh... Reese Witherspoon is in that category. I got to believe She's Matthew McConaughey is right there. And uh, uh, Hudson? Uh, Kate, Hudson? Kate Hudson. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Yeah. Okay. Pure rom-com. All right. But that's not, that's not a top 10 rom-com. Cruel Intentions. Cruel Intentions? Okay, maybe it's not a rom-com. It's just one of my favorites. That's nothing close to a rom-com. Sorry. Yeah, that's yeah. not really. And what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, DP. Go yeah. ahead. All right. <laughs> It is yeah. Marv Madness. What are you doing? <laughs> like, it, like it's serious. Is there a list, Paulie? That yeah, like you've got mail with. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, when Harry met Sally. Right. Oh. That's got to be right at so the top. So there's there's uh, Tom Hanks with two of them. And you you overachieve by scoring Meg Ryan in the eighties and nineties. Mm hmm. But oh, Billy Crystal is in when Harry met Sally. Yes. Thank you. And then Tom Tom Hanks. Right? Tom Hanks with you've got mail. Mm. Any other rom coms? I mean, if you think about it, they're, if you get the girl in the end, then it's like a uh, pretty woman. But is that a rom-com? Yeah. Hardcore. With a, <laughs> sprinkled with prostitution. Yeah. With, I, I, so she's Hardcore. walking the street. Yeah, 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 yeah she's yeah. a prostitute. Right. When Harry met Sally, pretty woman, you've got mail, clueless, people say, is a rom-com. Uh, Paul Rudd, right? Early Paul Rudd. And uh, Harold Alicia and Silverstone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Harold People and debate Maude. whether Jerry Maguire is a sports movie or a rom com. I think it's rom com. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's rom com. Because the relationship. Yes, Todd. With Hugh Grant is like all over he that. He is. Notting Hill. Love Actually. That's Bridget Jones Diary. Is Love Actually is a good movie. That's a rom com. My Best Friend's movie. Wedding. Yeah. Julia Roberts. Mm. The Wedding Singer with Adam Sandler. Ooh. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Very funny. Very sneaky. Sneaky funny.